As many of you are now preparing for fall hunts, it's important to look at some of the gear you'll need to process an animal. There's a fairly popular thing going around called a kill kit that a lot of guys put together. Certain commercial kits are available online or you can make your own, which is kind of what I've done. And essentially you just want what you need to process an animal after you kill it. And you want it all available in one easy spot so you can just reach in your, grip, in your backpack, grab it and be working immediately. So I have mine in a Black Ovis uh, stuff sack essentially this is what the black ovis game bags came in those are in here we'll look at those in a minute and let's go through it real quick very first thing i have in there is electrical tape that's something i use to put tags on antlers also has a whole host of other uses if you need it i keep more of it in my backpack but i definitely have some in the kill kit then i have a load of nitrile gloves it you know they're light they're cheap it's worth having a bunch of them so as they rip, as you're processing animals, you can just put a new one on and, and be working quickly. Then, we have my secret weapon. This is a meat hook. This thing only weighs a few ounces, and it makes processing an animal so much easier. I will not go to the mountains without it. It just makes the job so much easier, especially if you have to do certain things by yourself. Uh, it's almost like having another set of hands. It just grips that wet meat so well, that wet and slimy, bloody crap you gotta deal with. Makes it, holding on to it a lot easier so you don't cut yourself while you work. This is a Avalon blade. Uh, I don't even know what they call it. Essentially, it's you can pinch it. It's like plastic pliers to remove and change Avalon blades. It weighs nothing. It's worth having in there. Speaking of the Avalon, that is what I use to cut up all the meat and debone it along with a couple extra blades. This one is camo. I highly recommend getting one in a bright color. I have set this down and had to look for it way too many times. Uh, that's kind of a, a tip you can use for anything. Bright colors are definitely better on things that you're gonna be working with potentially in the dark after you've got an animal down. Then this is another knife I take. This uh, is just a folding utility knife. But these little curved carpet or roofing hooks, man, those are awesome. They tear through hides so fast. They also work really well to get up in the vertebrae as you're taking heads off. And then it saves your Havilon so that you don't, you know, one Havilon blade will last me a whole elk now. And this thing will just rip through multiple annals before it needs to be replaced. And then it is dual sided. So you can take it out, put it in on the other side. That'll last you, most people you know, a whole season, no problem. So, definitely worth taking. Then I also take a big 55-gallon contractor bag. I think this is a three-mil bag. It works as a ground cloth. You can use it as an emergency poncho. You can put the meat inside of it when you're getting ready to load it up in your backpack so it doesn't bleed all over everything. It's super handy to have. They are a little heavy, but they're worth having. And then the rest of that kit is just these synthetic game bags from Black Ovis. Bunch of different companies make these. These are washable and reusable. I think I've hauled three animals out with these now. When they wash up, they look brand new. So that's my kill kit. Let us know what you think about it in the comments. Let us know what you would add or take away. Uh, one thing I don't have in here is my tag. I keep those in my bino harness so that if I have to show them to anyone, they're available that way quickly. Or if I kill an animal, I've got the tag on me. If I've left my backpack somewhere else, and then I can come back and get this kill kit. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Let us know what you think about it. Anything you'd add or take away. Would uh, love to hear your feedback. And happy hunting this fall.